In 1980, I was a kid on a small dairy farm in upstate New York when an actor named Ronald Reagan was elected President of the United States. How crazy was that? President Reagan's strength in foreign affairs at a time when we desperately needed that strength quickly turned him into my presidential idol. Then, in 1984, he became the first president I would ever vote for. After graduating from college in 1986, I jumped at the chance to become part of President Reagan's vision for the U.S. military, and I joined the Navy. Nine years of naval service included my participation in Operation Desert Storm under the expert leadership of President George H.W. Bush. As my family began to grow, I realized the time had come for me to part ways with the Navy. My desire to continue serving our country, however, remained strong, and I had the good fortune to continue serving as a special agent with the FBI. After George H.W. Bush, I had the honor to serve under the leadership of Presidents Bill Clinton and George W. Bush before completing my career in government service under the leadership of President Barack Obama. My retirement from the FBI became effective a mere 10 days before the election of November 2016. Whether a Democrat or a Republican, I always was able to respect those who held the office of the president. That was until 2016 when Donald Trump was elected. His utter disregard for the U.S. Constitution, and let me tell you, not understanding the words is no excuse. His utter disregard for the Constitution and those who support him led me to question what it was I was serving for 30 years. Please. Vote for Joe Biden on November 3rd. We must first restore our democracy, and then we can work to restore the balance of right and left.